Hey everyone, welcome back to Andy Demos. Today I'm taking a look at the Maris Polymoon, and although it has been out for a few years, I wanted to show you how someone like myself, not being an ambient guitar player, would approach a pedal as complex as this. So let's get started. The Maris Polymoon is a multi-layered modulation and delay pedal, inspired by the lost art of cascading multiple rack effects units. At a glance, you'll notice no menus to get lost in, just a control set that is very plug and play with six knobs that also have secondary functions or layers. Starting with a stereo effect made famous by Frank Zappa, two dynamic flangers running in parallel begin the signal chain with controls for intensity and speed. Then it's off to six delay lines in series that total up to 1200 milliseconds for either straight repeats, rhythmic multi-tap patterns, or dreamy pads thanks to a special dimension control that smears those six individual delay lines into reverb territory. You're probably getting the point of how powerful this pedal is, however it doesn't stop there. Each of the six delay lines has their own triangle shaped LFO which modulates the delay. Holding the ALT button and turning the time and multiply knobs affects the early and late modulation controls. The modulation isn't just chorus either, there's various speed and depth settings as well as tremolo and pitch shifting effects in the repeats. You can also shape the tone of these cascaded delays making them brighter or darker by using the second function of the feedback knob. Lastly, the left and right channels of these swirling delays pass through their own barber pole phaser set to move in opposite directions to maximize the stereo field. All these parameters, including the digitally controlled analog mix, are saved in 16 presets accessed by MIDI or by the Maris 4-button switch for quick access to your top favorites. There's also expression pedal control that allows you to morph between heel and toe presets. Like all Maris pedals, the Polymoon is built in Los Angeles with high quality components, low noise converters, and an intuitive design to spark your creativity. Let's just start with the dynamic flanger since it's first in the signal path, and I can isolate it just by rolling the mix all the way back. Now let's change the direction of the envelope. engage some feedback with the second layer of the bypass switch. And for some classic flanger tones, I'll just move the second layer of the dimension knob all the way to the right to engage the LFO. And I can do this with or without the feedback. <laughs>
So the flanger component itself could be its own pedal. But let's move on to the delay side. I'll back off on that dynamics knob to just bypass the flanger sounds for now. And let's play around with the cascading delays and adjust that multiply knob. Now let's see how the dimension knob can blur the line between delay and reverb. I'll choose a very rhythmic multi-tap delay. And there's still two more main components to cover, and that's the early and late modulation within those delay lines and the phaser at the end of it all.
And putting the icing on the cake is that barber pull phaser. This is a kind of phaser where you don't really notice the swishing up and down. It just has that gooey sound and it doesn't get in the way of the delay time or any of the modulation. <laughs> just scratching the surface of the Polymoon, a multi-tap, multi-modulation device from Maris. You can find out all about it at maris.us. Thanks for watching.